Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm working on week 30 from 2017. And as I'm doing this voiceover, today is actually the first day of school. So our summer is officially over, which is crazy. It flew, well, it always flies by, but it's crazy that our summer is over. So if you are the same as me, I'm sure by the time this video goes live, It'll probably be into September or close to it and perhaps your kids will be going back to school or maybe you don't have anyone, maybe you've got grandkids or maybe you don't have children going back to school. But even if you don't, I think September is always a great time of year to um, look at the goals that you made at the beginning of the year and, and maybe like reassess where you're at and how you can jump back into them. That has nothing to do with the uh, spread that I'm working on this week, but I thought that, um, I don't know, that just always something that occurs to me when it comes to a back to school is just reassessing those goals. So anyway, just uh, something I wanted to share with you. Um, so I am going to dive into what I'm doing with this spread. So one of the things that I'm going to talk about a lot I don't want to say a lot, but one of the main stories that I'm featuring this week is me taking pictures. And one of the things that I did, so during this week, I was alone for, I think, three days or at least two and a half days where my husband was gone and my kids were gone all at the same time. And so there was one day that I decided I woke up. I was really early in the morning and instead of laying in bed, I thought, you know, I'm going to go up to the mountains. I'm going to take pictures because I heard the wildflowers are out. And while I was up there, I remembered how much I loved just taking pictures. And I do take pictures on, obviously, a daily basis. You're seeing all the pictures that I've taken this whole year that I've put in my spread. But I haven't just done it to just do. I haven't done that in so long. And I used to call them like an artist date. And so that is one of the things that I wanted to talk about or really highlight this week is that I have missed that so much and it really brought a lot of joy into my week. And it was very interesting that then the next week I end up doing like four photo shoots, which I haven't done in a really long time. So um, I will get to that when I talk about week 31, but I just thought it was really interesting. And so something else that I want to encourage you guys as well is do what it is that you love, like go out and do it. Like obviously I love um, Project Life, I love documenting life, but I also just love seeing life through my camera and just going out and exploring. And so that is something that I would encourage you guys to do. Find what you love and do it will definitely make a difference to your day. And especially if you're feeling blue, then definitely go ahead and do it. Uh, it really made a difference to me. So just another piece of advice I wanted to share with you guys. Um, okay, so I've missed a lot of what I've uh, tried to do on this spread. Uh, let me see if I can go back. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to use, and I can't remember if I just told you this, but Ali Edwards had a story kit. It was called Click, and I bought it. I think I bought it one of her recent um, sales that she did where you could buy her pass kits. Definitely look for those a couple times a year. It'll probably be coming up again at the end of this year. She might do something like that. And if she doesn't have the kits available, oftentimes she will have digital kits available. So anyways, I snagged that kit and I thought it would be really great to use specifically with this week because like I said, I was talking about taking photos and why I love photos. And so specifically, I pulled out that card that said, you know, heart photos. And I wanted to tell the story basically of what I just told you about how much I love it and how much I've missed it and what a difference it makes to my life when I'm doing it. Uh, but that space just was not enough. And I toyed around with actually writing it out or printing it. And what I ended up deciding to do, and I don't know when you're going to see me do that, but I decided to... Um, do it in two three by four cards. So you'll see that coming up when I actually start doing the journaling, but I end up taking two three by four cards and using that space to do that. Right now I'm just looking at the chipboard set that actually came with the click set. And you can see that I'm looking at this long chipboard and I'm trying to, I'm actually 
coming up with an idea a little bit about what I want to do with that uh, photo love card and how I want to uh, make that work for me. So you can see this is, I think this is the point that I'm grabbing over a card and I was kind of unsure because you can see that the printed card is a little gray and the other card's white. I decide I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go for it. So I decide to tackle writing this story out and doing the best I can. And, and basically like Ali Edwards always suggests, you know, let it end when you get to the end. And so I just kind of let my mind flow about what was going on with my heart at that moment and then stop when I was finished. And luckily I was able to get my full story told. So now what I decided to do in order to make these cards seem like they're together is to take this long chipboard and to um, put it on both cards. So I don't always love... Uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to have an idea like this and decide, okay, I'm going to cut this chipboard because it's, once it's cut, it's cut and you can't uncut it, right? Uh, but I decided to go for it. And I actually do end up covering up one word and the word is and. And so I didn't think it was that big of a deal. So I decided not to worry about it and just to go with it. Um, so now you can see that I'm just going to, I'm lining up my cards and I actually find it easier to line up when they are stacked vertically for some reason. So that's why I, I did it that way. And then I think I end up having to crop it a little bit just to get into the pocket. One thing that I noticed it, because it was such a thick chipboard and it was right at the bottom, it did kind of pull on the page protector a little bit. So I ended up cutting it down a little bit more and you can see that this cutter, um, actually went through the chipboard nice. Like it did not have any problem cutting through that chipboard. So that's something to perhaps consider if you have uh, that tonic trimmer. I really, really love that tonic trimmer. So now I'm just sticking some photos into place and I'm looking at the other chipboards that came with it and trying to decide if I want to add some more or what more I want to do or what other stories perhaps that I want to tell from this week. That was another thing that I was trying to determine um, how I want, like how many more stories I wanted to tell and really how I wanted to do that. Because you can see that I used, um, well, I told two stories so far other than the ones with the pictures, the one about photo love and then the other one. And you'll see that I'll stamp it a little bit later. It says, is this real? I think it says something like that, the stamp that I end up stamping. And really, it was all about how so many crazy things were happening with our life, starting with our do dog getting bit by a rattlesnake, which I think I shared that with you already. Um, but my car breaking down, my dryer breaking down, it just literally, there was, I swear, every other day it was one thing after another. And I kind of started just laughing at it all because it was sort of ridiculous how it just wouldn't stop. And so I kind of talked a lot about that. And I talked about how um, really changing your attitude makes all the difference and choosing to not see it as a big deal uh, really made the biggest difference to me. So that's one of the things that I wrote about there. And now I decided that I am going to do a little bit of journaling on some of these photos. Oh yeah, the one where I'm, the photo that I'm writing on now, that's all about how our power went out. And the interesting thing is it was out for hours and it came back on and then it went off again. And I noticed about 10 o'clock at night that my whole neighborhood was all lit up except for my house and my neighbor's house on, on either side of me. Like, so it was just our three houses. And of course it was a hot day and no air conditioning was working. So um, it was just so interesting. That was another thing that happened that our power went out, which is kind of crazy. You know, I actually laughed at that. I'm like, are you serious? That it's just my house and my neighbor's house whose power is still out. So it's just kind of crazy. So I decided to uh, do a little bit of journaling. You can see that I've pulled, that I've, um, that I've uh, cut some circles with a punch and I'm just writing a little bit of journaling right on there. And then I added, I just wanted a little bit of embellishment. And so I added, I think those came from Freckled Fawn. You saw that I think there, there was some stars and there were some hearts and then there were some dots. So um, I thought that that was fun just to add a little bit color and a little bit something. So they're green and pink and clear. I didn't use any of the, the whitish ones. 
and there's a teal, I believe. So I think I use all three colors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish writing those out. The pen that I'm using is called, I think it's a Pentel Ink Joy. I really love this pen. Um, I've been using felt tip pens in the past and they just wear out too quickly and I don't wanna keep buying a pen. So I started using this, it's a gel pen. It works so awesome, I love it. The one thing that I've noticed that it doesn't do well because I have been using a bullet journal and I would love if you guys would be interested in seeing how I'm using that bullet journal. Just give me a thumbs up or give me a comment and let me know. Um, if you'd be interested in seeing that, but I, what, one thing that I noticed about that is it doesn't work really well with like the Tombow markers, but it actually does dry really fast. I think that's one of the selling points of that pen is that it dries quickly. So I really loved it for project life. So if you're looking for a pen that's not going to wear out, or at least that the ink is going to last, definitely check that out. And they're inexpensive. You can get like a pack of three for not very much money. And you can buy them all over Amazon and at Target, Walmart, you know, sky's the limit. So check it out. All right. So now that I'm done with writing that little bit of journaling, I am thinking about what's next and what more do I want to add? So I think that that's normally what happens is I, you know, work with one thing and then move on to the next. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm still have one or two three by four spots that I need to fill up. So I'm just trying to consider what it is that I want to do. You can also see that I have um, a stamp sitting on that three by four card that's all typed up that I've yet to stamp. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm using um, the Simon Says ink. It's a pink ink. I think it's called Tutu or something like that. Twirling Tutu or something. I will definitely have it linked below. I have a few Simon Says inks, not a ton, but I thought that that one worked perfectly. It just happened to work out great that it was this uh, muted pink color. And the stamp actually says, is this real life? And it came from, I believe, the Allie Edwards Tough Kit story kit, I believe if I remember correctly. Um, okay, so what I decided to do right there is for some reason it was driving me crazy that the writing from the three by four card and the handwriting from that half circle were on top of each other. And I couldn't figure out where else to move those pictures around. I definitely could have. I definitely could move that picture of me and the other picture of me on the other side and just swap them. Anyways, I didn't do that because I was not thinking at the time, but you will not see this in this video, but I end up putting it back on because I was like, this is ridiculous. Like it was so much more of a, of a design. It was, I was thinking more about the design than I was the story. So once I got my head back in the game and I was like, the story is more important than the design and it is. So I want it to look good. That's important to me. I decided to go ahead and put that half circle back on. So I actually had the story. And I think one of the reasons why is because you can see that I did the this week card and that this week card actually explains some of those stories that I actually did um, the circles for. So that's why I think I took it off and I felt fine about it. But like I said, you're not going to see it in this video, but I do actually end up putting it back on and it does not bother me at all. So the other thing that I wanted to just mention, you can see that I cut those two, that one photo in half and created two so that I could add that this week card, which I thought was great because it just gave a really brief overview of kind of what happened each day. Anyway, you guys, this is the spread for this week. Hopefully you were able to get some inspiration. If you like what you saw and would like to see more, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for being here and we will catch you in the next video. Bye.